All right, guys, Steven here with another video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about classic physique. Yeah, I saw Nick Strength and Power made this kind of video, but honestly, I had it written in my phone when I write my ideas for the videos before he made it. And then I saw it one morning and I was like, God damn, this guy stole my idea. But of course, he didn't do that. But yeah, it is what it is. I just want to do this video because I want to say some things and I hope you like and appreciate my opinion. Because it may be different from what other people say. It may be different from Nick's opinion, who is very, very objective and doesn't really have some strong opinions. He just, you know, tells whatever in order to make high quality videos. He provides a good information, but he's not interesting. He has no sense of humor. He's not funny. He's not, I don't know. I don't know why people watch him. Actually, I know I watch him because there is no other channel that is as consistent uh, and uploads as frequently as him. But if there was a Louis Marco, I would watch Louis Marco much, much more gladly. I was a huge fan of Louis Marco, honestly. I, that was when I was a kid. I don't know. I don't know if I would enjoy him right now, but I definitely enjoyed his videos when I was younger. And uh, this one thing also I want to talk about uh, is: Did he create classic physique? And uh, I don't know, guys. Tell me if I'm crazy, but if anybody noticed this, also tell me in the comments if you are one of the people who noticed that. But you know. Louis Marco used to make a lot of fun out of bodybuilders who didn't look aesthetic, who had this talent stomachs. He actually, I think he invented the term bubble gut and he made those songs, you know, bubble gut bonanza or whatever. He used to troll them a lot, a lot. And uh, he was pretty much the one who had a really, really big influence when it came to that problem of big stomachs. And there was this video, I can't find it, I mean, I'm sure I can find it, but it will take me a long time, I don't really have that time to search now. But if you are fans of Louis Marco, and if you watch his videos at the time, you may have noticed that the one video, he said, why doesn't IBB simply create another division that could be called, I think he said classic bodybuilding instead of uh, classic physique, but it was something like that. And he said it should have a weight cap, it should be, you know, without big stomachs and all that kind of stuff. So pretty much everything that Classic Physique is. And actually he made that video. He said that. And after a few days, guys, literally, it was a matter of days, <laughs> Classic Physique came up in 2016. Was he actually the reason why they created this division? Oof, I'm not sure, but he definitely had a big influence. But he certainly did make sport very, very exciting at that time. It was really much more enjoyable than it is today. But RX Muscle, but don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of RX Muscle. I always give my questions for their Q&A. I love Dave Palombo and pretty much he taught me everything that I know today about dieting. I mean, not everything, but a lot. He helped me with my competition prep, not but not knowing, you know, while making his videos. So I'm respecting that channel a lot, but... He makes this Iron Debate videos, I'm not sure if that is how it's called, where a bunch of people talking trash about other people. And they were talking trash about Louis Marco. And they really said some horrible things about him. And there was whole drama afterwards, and he received a lot of hate after that. Uh, and yeah, some time later, he quit filming. And that was very sad for bodybuilding culture. And I think that was pretty much the reason why he gave up on bodybuilding, on a YouTube channel about bodybuilding. They really put him down, big time, without mercy, without mercy at all. And then the fans were also against him. They made him look like a troll, which he was. He definitely was trolling a lot of bodybuilders, maybe a little bit too much. He, he gave them a lot of hate. So for that reason, maybe that's why people didn't like that. And, you know, in my opinion, that's why he stopped making bodybuilding videos. Probably because of that. Whatever the reason may be, Louis Marco is gone. He's not doing bodybuilding anymore. Honestly, guys, I was a huge fan of Louis, and I want to make a channel to be similar to his. I don't want to be a new uh, Nick Strength and Power, to just give information like a journalist. I don't want to be a RX Muscle, because I'm not, a, I'm not a grandpa, 50 years old. And we lack that kind of new, fresh, energetic, enthusiastic uh, presence. And if you agree with me, tell me in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about my channel. Because honestly, guys, whenever I see a positive comment in my comment section, I feel so happy because this takes a lot of work, to be honest. And I'm really hoping to make this channel big. So whenever I see something like that, I, I really like it. And I remember the names very well. I know who are you, the guys who comment on all of my videos. I remember your names and thank you so much for that. You know who you are. Anyways, um, let's go with the classic physique actually now. And let me give you my thoughts because everybody's talking about this. So I wanted to give you my, my ideas, my thoughts. 
on what classic physique should actually be. What is it all about? And in my opinion, it's basically a physique that won't show any kind of blockiness or distended stomachs or whatever. It just needs to show aesthetics. And when it comes to aesthetics, there are so many things. So the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of aesthetics is proportions. You need to have certain proportions. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Some people would say conditioning. Some people would say a vacuum. I say proportions. And that means if your arms are not as big as your chest and as your shoulders are, you don't have that, those aesthetics. And that's not classic, if you ask me. So basically what I want to see is dominant arms. That's the first thing that I like. That's what you saw with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was classic as hell. Serge Nubre, same thing. Now you can see that with Vasily Vissers, classic as hell, classic as hell, but he has a flaw and I will talk about that later. And then some of you maybe already know what is my uh, thing with Vasily they don't like. Um, there are also many other guys and they all had very, very good arms. So arms are one of the most important thing. The next thing is small waist. So your waist should not be okay. It shouldn't be just flat. It shouldn't be like, I don't have bubble gut and that's it, I'm a classic. No. Your waist should be very small, an amazingly taper. For example, George Peterson does not have extremely small waist. Chris Bumstead does, and that's why I like Chris a lot. His waist is super small. His arms are not the best shaped, but they are looking pretty good again. And also, the next thing that I would say is chest. Very, very good, big, developed and broad, broad chest. So wide clavicles, wide shoulders and wide rib cage, wide, big chest. If you don't have big chest, that's not classic. Amazing back development is awesome, but that's not classic. It has nothing to do with classic, classic physique. I mean, if you want to see an aesthetically pleasing physique, it needs to have big arms, small waist, broad chest. As far as legs, they shouldn't be extremely big, but your calves should be on point. So the outer muscles, not the inner part, not the core. Shoulders can also be a good thing, but not too developed and too round shoulders. I don't like to see that. For example, Vasily Vissers has a little bit too big shoulders, and I don't like that. They are too developed. And uh, for example, I also wanted to say the next thing is conditioning. I mean, that's not something that you can ignore. Uh, maybe in the 70s or 80s, it wasn't the most important factor because nobody could get as shredded as guys can today. But if you can see more muscle fibers, more definition, tell me, why wouldn't you? If you can see more of that, why not? And I think that is one of the most important things in classic physique, as it is, what the criteria is already. It's the details in the muscles. So the muscles must show a lot of details, a lot of small fibers. And that happens with, you know, with years and years of training and training heavily and intensely. If you just pump the muscle with blood and you pump yourself with insulin and carbs, that's not classic physique. You need to make it with heavy weights. So you have that granity, that grainy look. I like to see that when it comes to conditioning. So Vasily Vissers, amazing galaxy physique, pretty much has everything. The only thing that I would make less, you know, prominent would be his shoulders, especially his rear delts. And I would also add crazy conditioning to, to his physique, pretty much. And if he comes, like, completely peeled, that would be ideal class physique. Nothing else to ask for. I mean, his uh, quads, they are not too small, but they don't have that kind of shape. They just look flat in some way. Mm, you just, I think it just needs uh, many, many years of heavy, heavy squatting and leg pressing and that kind of stuff. It won't happen with leg extensions and pumping the blood into the muscle. I'm sorry, but probably not. And uh, that's my idea of classic physics. So proportions are number one thing. The next thing is conditioning. And the third thing is posing and the presentation. So, for example, in this Harvard class in 2019, we could see Steve Lorius, and his posing wasn't that good. He was pretty clumsy. He, he almost slipped a few times, but he was able to show his advantages, his strong points. So, his presentation was good, although the posing wasn't perfect. And if you can look at the Brion Angsley, you can see that his posing is amazing, his presentation is very, very good, and he knows how to show his strengths, but he doesn't have the best classic physique. Still, I wouldn't say that he is ideal classic physique champion. I think Chris Bumstead is going to be the next one, uh, because, I mean, he lost only by one point last year, but he, and he had a crazy problem with water retention, so he did not come nearly as dry as he could have. But compared to 2017, he made a lot of new gains, a lot of improvements, 
And if he just came shredded as he was in 2017, he would win that, uh, that title easily. But he did not because of the circumstances, whatever they were. And yeah, Brion won deservably so. But I think next year we're going to have a new Classic Physique champion. That's going to be Chris Bumstead. But uh, let's talk about it in some other video. And that's basically all I have to say about this, guys. That was my take on Classic Physique and what it should be. And as far as vacuum, I don't really want to talk about it again. I talked in a previous video. I do not think it should be necessary because it's not really a pose. And, uh, you know, if you can do it, do it. It's awesome. It's a plus. If you can't, just don't do it. I know it's very hard for some people. I'm sure that most people can learn how to do it, but it just doesn't look the best on everybody. And that's my take on Classic Physique Division, guys. I really hope to see something different, to, for it to become very, very aesthetic physique. So when you look at all the top physiques, you just see beautiful lines, beautiful shape, beautiful proportions, conditioning. Everything needs to be on top. Not old guys with distended stomachs and, you know, lacking legs and uh, whatever i'm not mentioning any names right now but so i i just want to see something different and something beautiful and that's not that hard i'm sure we can get this in the future and if you guys like this video tell me in the comment section below why did you like it and what did you like and what you didn't like if you didn't like something and if you want to help me out suggest me to a friend or something like that and uh, like the video once again all the best guys bye bye